The Iowa student's death reigniting the immigration debate in this country. Iowa Senator Joni Ernst is calling for the passage of Sarah's Law, named for another Iowan who... Questions about his immigration, employment, and criminal history, and we must receive answers. Senate Judiciary Chairman Chuck Grassley sounding off there. He's one of many Republican lawmakers calling for tougher immigration laws after learning an illegal immigrant has been charged now with the murder of University of Iowa student Molly Tibbetts. The president echoing that call from the Iowa senator. We now know that the farm that hired the suspect did not use the E-Verify program, and that's 24-year-old faked his identity to get a job there. Let's bring in today's headliner, Texas Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick. Thank you for your time this morning, sir. If you could, let yes, us man. know your thoughts as we're hearing Republicans and Democrats on this issue, and as well as the president this morning. Well, it's time for the Republicans and Democrats in Congress to do something about it. You know, don't uh, misinterpret my passion for anger. Anger gets us nowhere, but passion can. I'm tired of Mitch McConnell not changing the rules to bypass Chuck Schumer and the Democrats. Um, it's time for the Republicans who are in the majority to follow the president's lead, fund the wall, and secure this border. When I look at what happened, just on MSNBC or CNN, one of their professors from Fordham University says, Fox is talking about a girl in Iowa. This isn't a girl. This is a young lady whose name was Molly Tibbetts. And I can only imagine the fear in her eyes, her heart beating in terror as her life was taken away. In the movie Unforgiven, there's a line, once you kill someone, you take everything they have and everything they're going to have. She's never going to get married. She's never going to have kids. She's never going to have a great life and the blessing of grandchildren and a career. Everything was taken away from her. And I look at Chuck Schumer. And in my view, for pure politics, the blood of her and, and Kate Steinle and the thousands across America in the last decade or more who have been killed by criminal aliens, many of them here illegally, the blood is on Chuck Schumer's hands and every Democrat. And the Republicans who won't change the rules. In Texas, we had a few knucklehead Republicans and liberal Democrats who blocked us from banning sanctuary cities when I was a senator. And on day one, when I became lieutenant governor in 2015, we changed the rules in the Senate so that wouldn't happen. And sir, she, and was, killed, she was killed cities. in middle America. She was killed in Iowa. We talk about this like this is a, a border state issue. I mean, she was in rural Iowa. Sandra, I have been saying for years here with you and on other Fox shows, every sheriff in America is a border sheriff, and they will tell you that. And when criminal aliens brought here by cartels, remember, you don't cross the border without the cartels allowing you to cross. Come to the heartland of America and grab this poor girl and take the life out of her, a town of 1,400 people. America better wake up. And in the states like Indiana and Montana and Missouri and North Carolina and Ohio and West Virginia that have Democrat senators, in this election this year, Republicans better get up and get out and vote. If, if, if Mitch McConnell won't change the rules, and we're going to have to get close to 60 Republicans in the Senate so that Chuck Schumer can't block these bills. This is pure politics. And it's not just about the American lives, who I don't think they give a damn about, quite frankly. It's about the people who do want to come here, not the criminals, but the people who want to be proud Americans, who want to come to this country like people came through Ellis Island, legally, proud to be Americans. Most of the people that cross the border who come here for a better life, they don't want to have to swim across the river. They don't want to have to be raped by their, by their, their handlers as a bounty to cross. They don't want to be stuffed in an 18-wheeler. They want to come here legally. They want to live out of the shadows. They want to be part of this country. But until Congress fixes this, it's not going to happen. And we're going to see more Americans die. Just in Texas in the last seven years, we've had hundreds killed by illegal uh, immigrants. We've had over 150 kidnappings. We've had nearly 6,000 people sexually assaulted by criminals. And we're spending billions of dollars of our taxpayer money to do what the federal government was not doing under Obama. And, and this president is doing everything he can. Yeah, but he but can even only do so much. He, he, needs, he needs the Congress to act, and he needs the Republicans to change the rules to get around the Democrats and the people of this country if this doesn't wake them up, I don't know. You're not safe anywhere from MS-13 or illegal aliens. And, and this, and Bill, and, and John Rather, and on this issue, 
this, this company, this is a game they play. They turn in fake Social Security numbers until they get caught up by the Social Security system. And you know what happens? Under the laws, you can't ask them about it. Or you just say, you know, we got, a, we got a false hit by Social Security on you. Can you give us, did you make a mistake? And then that illegal uh, person the, goes to another the company and does the same thing. The president's calling on Congress to act. In that interview this morning, he it's made it very act. clear we can only, he can only do so, so much. And Congress has to change the laws. Here he is.